A blue line of law enforcement is on guard at the Ferguson police station. It's just after midnight. <laughs> when shots ring out. There was just gunfire and now cops have guns drawn. Two officers are hit, one in the shoulder. The bullet rips through his body and exits through his back. The other officer is shot in the face. The bullet lodges behind his ear. They are both rushed to the hospital in serious condition after what authorities call an ambush. Several shots were fired, at least three, and two officers were struck. I don't have an official uh, status on what their condition is right now. Uh, they are conscious. Uh, however, those are, are very, very serious gunshot injuries to be able to sustain in your upper torso and certainly in your face. At the scene, tense moments in the immediate aftermath of the shooting. Some police draw their weapons. Others take cover to prepare for the possibility of more incoming fire. And then, when the situation seems secure, the priority to find out who just shot two of their own. This is Tiffin Street, and if you look behind me, you can see where it is in relation to the Ferguson Police Department where the officers were shot there. Police theorize that whoever was responsible for the shooting was standing about 125 yards north of where the officers were shot, possibly right up this street here in that area. Early this morning, authorities swarmed this house a half mile from the shooting scene. Dozens of law enforcement in SWAT gear and police dogs descend. Some enter the home through the front door. While others try to pry a hole in the roof, described as a tactical situation related to the shooting investigation. Three people are taken in for questioning, two men and one woman. Irisha Turner was one of them. Three o'clock in the morning, we heard boom, 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 boom. It's 15 police. He said, we know you're in there. We ain't leaving until you come out. I open the door and scoot back. I, I look at my chest. It's a red dot on it. I have my hands up, start crying. Please don't shoot me. Turner says she was protesting last night, and when the shooting happened, she sped away from the scene in her car out of fear, possibly raising suspicions of law enforcement. Yeah, after they searched the house, they asked for a search warrant to go in the attic. It was, it was something in the attic. A gun? Yes. Okay. It was a gun they found in the attic. It was not to be used to hurt anyone. It was used to protect sure. myself. She was questioned but not charged. Later on in the day, some good news. Both officers are released from the hospital. We're lucky. Uh, by God's grace, we didn't lose two officers last night. And as the day turns into night, Ferguson is on edge as a manhunt for whoever shot the officers continues.